Hey guys, this is Sir Alex Minecraft, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to use the Emerald Market plugin for bucket servers. I think it's a really cool plugin that allows you to turn emerald blocks into shops. So why don't I just get started here and show you guys how to use them. So first off, to create a shop you need to place an emerald block and depending on the sh kind of shop you want to make you're going to type a different command. So for a basic shop with unlimited stock that no one specifically owns. Do em create shop. Then you right click the block and it creates a shop. As you can see, it's empty right now, so we need to add some items. So we're going to add a chest. So we type em, we hold the block in our hand and we type em add. The buy price will be 15. And if someone wants to sell to the shop, they can sell it for five. And then we right click. And as you can see, the buy price appears in the middle row. And the sell price appears in the bottom row. And if you want to buy from the shop, you would left click. And if you would sell to the shop, you right click. And the coolest thing about this is all of your emeralds are stored in a bank account and one way to access your bank account is an ATM you do place a diamond block, it has to be diamond, that way it's different from the shops EM create ATM and then you open it and as you can see this is the ATM each block here will be represented by a single emerald block and if you click on that it'll open up that particular section of your bank account and it'll show all the emeralds you have stored so really you can store a ton because if you can store this many stacks of 64 emeralds in one block and then multiply it by that many that's a bunch of emeralds so that's how an ATM works and you can uh, deposit or withdraw your emeralds if you want and if you buy or sell from a shop all emeralds will automatically be added or deducted from your account now the coolest thing is you can create your own private shop where you stock it with items and if anyone buys from the shop you get money or if anyone sells to the shop you get the item and you have to pay for it of course but so to create our own private shop, we do slash em create private, and you right click on it, and as it says down on the screen here, you can see you have created your own Emerald Market Shop, your income is automatically deposited into your bank account, vended items will be added to your stock. So if we want an item, to add an item, we do it the exact same way, slash em add 15 as the sell price to the people, the, the price that the people have to pay and the price that the people will get if they sell. You right click on it. This is right click the Emerald Market Shop to open the store and to deposit the items you want to sell there. So you see a single chest. Now I'm going to go over to my shop that I have over here as a better demonstration. Now when you have created multiple items in your shop to buy and sell, you will see an inventory like this when you open it. It'll say stock, and you'll have every single item that you have in your shop. Now, the stock of your item is opened by clicking on the particular item. So say I want to check the stock of my bread. I open it up, and it'll open all the bread, and this is just for bread. And if I want to do it for steak, I click steak, and then I look in here and can deposit or withdraw from there and any emeralds are taken directly from the bank account and so forth and this is if you only get this screen if it's the shop you own if it is a privately owned shop owned by someone else they'll see a screen like this where it's the items across the top and then the two prices and so I think this is a really cool plugin that you can use to enhance your own economy 
build a little town. I'm just going to check the tutorial I wrote here just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I think that's about it. So, I thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, I hope it was helpful. If you think I missed anything, uh, please leave a comment in the description below, and I'll probably make a video with all the things I missed. So, I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.